Hi, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the Pirates of the Caribbean theme on lead guitar and also on chords. So we're going to check out how to play both the lead guitar and the chords version. And I did a fingerstyle lesson on this quite a while ago. So if you haven't checked that out, you can. So over there, you can learn how to play the whole arrangement the fingerstyle way. And here I'm going to show you an easy version which you can play with lead guitar. Okay, so if you're a beginner, this should be great for you. I, I got a lot of people asking me if they could do a simplified version for this song. Uh, this is kind of like uh, the version that I did for the Game of Thrones theme song. That was also lead guitar and simple lead guitar and simple chords. So let's start. Let's start with the lead guitar part first, and later we're gonna check out how to play the chords. All right. So let's learn the first part. It's gonna go like this. Right. So we're starting out on second fret of the third string. Then you have first fret on second string. Now you have third fret on second string two times. Okay. If you want tabs, you can check out the link in the description box below. But it's pretty easy. You shouldn't require them. Now next part, okay, so that's third fret again on second string, then open on the first string, then first fret two times on the first string, okay, so it's this, and then, all right, now, So this is going to be all on the first string, one, three, open and open again. In the very end, so that's on the second string, three, one, and then a hammer on from one to three. If you if you want, you can go straight to the third fret. Okay, so all in all. Now for the next line, you're going to repeat uh, this one more time and you can avoid the hammer on if you want because that's what I do. I don't do the hammer on the next time. Okay, so the second time, same thing. Now we're here, three, one, three. Okay, so instead of this, you got three, one, three. Now the next part. Second fret on third string, then first fret on second string, then three, three on second string, so. And now. So that's third fret on second string, Open on first string and three three on the first string. Then three five six six all on the first string. Okay, three five six six. Then five three and five again. So and then three on second string. Okay, so for this line, okay, that's what we've learned so far. So it's good to practice again and again what we've learned you know so that you retain that in your memory okay so next part all right 
So here we're playing 3rd fret on 2nd string. Then open on 1st string. 1, 1. Okay, so. And 3, 5, and 3 on 2nd string. Right? right after that so that's again three on second string then one on the first string and open open one and open again okay so again now you can practice everything that we've learned from the start Now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat everything that we learned from the start. Okay, all the four lines, there's, there's a change in the very end. Okay, so let me play everything once again. This part is the same. Okay, same thing again the next part. Same thing again. Now here is a change, instead of this is what we did first time, second time it will be okay and then afterwards all of that. Okay so instead of this thing you will have, you will have Okay, so that's third fret on second string, then first fret on the first string, then open, open, okay, on the first string, then three, one, three on the second string, okay, then afterwards, so that's third fret on second string, open on first string, one, one, three. Now I'm gonna play everything from the very start so there's no confusion, all right? Let's start everything from the beginning. That was the first time. Now the second time, repeat everything. Now instead of this, you have all right. And now we go to the next part. Okay, so we're having A major over here. So just need a little part of A major. We're picking fifth fret on the first string, then fifth fret on second string, then sixth fret on third string, and seventh fret on the fourth string. So Next time you can do this, same thing played one fret over, okay, so all the frets will go up, so this is going to be B flat, all frets, one up, so, but before that what I like to do is, I like to strum down on B flat, and then I go up, 6 on 1st string, 6 again, 7 and 8, okay, so, Do a little strum on B flat and then 
Okay, or you can just do and then right after that, we're gonna do this. Okay, so what's happening here is, as you can see, second fret on the fourth and third strings, two times, go one up and go one down. All right. So that is it. Now we take a look at the next part. Okay, but I like to again do a little strum before each chord. So that's again optional. If you want, you can do that. D minor. this okay so here's what I'm doing you've got D minor chord seventh fret on third string sixth fret on second string fifth fret on the first string strum down then two more times five five and six five okay so and if you don't do the strum then you have to play five 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 three times okay so five 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 six five and then over here on your C chord, okay, this one over here. So again, picking just three notes over here, fifth fret on second and third strings, and third fret on the first string, doing a little down strum. Then three, 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 five. Okay, so three, 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 five. And if you want doing that down strum, then you have four times three, 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 five. Okay, back to this thing over here on D minor. Okay, same as the first part, first chord. And then over here. Okay, so picking, uh, picking a couple of bass notes over here. You have fifth fret on the fifth and fourth strings. I'm going to strum them together. Go two down on the third fret. One down on the second fret. And then open and open on fifth and fourth strings like that okay oh uh, one more thing I forgot to tell you this this is a you know, I'm not playing it like a chord I'm actually arpeggiating it so what that means is after playing the first you mute it just by lifting it a little you play the second note and third note Now let's take a look at the next part. Okay, so here what we're doing is third fret on the second string, then it's all on the first string. Okay, so third fret on the second string, then all on the first string, what you're having is this open. One one three five then three one zero. Okay, so slowly third fret on second string, then open one one three five three one zero. Okay. Okay, it will be helpful if you do a little alternate picking over here. Don't just do all down strums because it would be helpful for you if you alternate pick. That's always beneficial. Okay, so. Now for the next part. So that's going to be one, three, five, back to three. And now, okay, so what's happening over here is one, three, five, five, three, one, open, one, open, okay? Okay, so from the start, In the very end, 
So that's going to be 3-3 three, three on second string, open on first string, then 1 and 3 on the second string. I'm going to go slow again, okay? Okay, that's the first little part of this uh, situation that we have here. And the next time you'll have this. Okay, so let's see what's happening over here. Again, third fret, starting out on third fret on second string, and on first string, open one then open one okay like this so that's three one three okay then you have five three one and then third fret on the second string okay if you want you can add slides as well okay if you want now the next part that's going to be third fret on the second string then open on first string, then one, three, five, six. Okay, third fret on the second string, then open one, three, five, six, and third fret on second string and first string. And the very end, one, one, three, open, and three on second string. One, one, three, open, and three on second string second string okay so let's take a look at this part once again three one three five three one three on second string three again then open one three five six three three one one three open and three on second string okay That's the entire part, all the one, first and two second parts together. And now we move to the next couple of chords. It's not over yet. Now once again, if you, if you want to avoid this, these chords that I'm playing, you can just do this. Okay, so anyways, what I'm doing over here, over here is again a D minor, 7 on 3rd string, 6 on 2nd string, and 5 on 1st string. Come to B flat, that's 7 on 3rd string, and 6 and 6 on the first two strings. Come to F major, okay, so over here you have D shape, okay, that you play on the 2nd fret. Just move that up to the 5th fret. That's all you need. And after that, so you're playing 3 more times on 5th fret of the 1st string, 5, 5, 5, and then 3 on the 1st string. Okay, so all in all, D minor, B flat, F major, 5, 5, 5, 3. Now the next chord is going to be a G minor. Okay, so here we're just playing third fret on the first three strings. D minor. Okay, D minor chord. You know how to play it. second fret on third string, third fret on the second string, first fret on the first string, and then open one, open 
and 3 on the second string. Okay. Okay. Now for the next part, uh, what I like to do is this. Okay, but if you want, you can just repeat what we've, what we've played once again. Okay, so here what, what I'm doing is third, seventh fret on the third string, fifth fret on the second string, sixth fret on second string, and fifth fret on the first string. So seven, five, six, five again. Now the same thing, just that in the end, you'll end up on the sixth fret of the first string. Okay, so five. Six back to five. So seven five six five seven five six six and again seven five six five then five eight on the first string back to five on first string and eight on the second string so okay then after that, you have 8 again on 2nd string, then 6, 5, 6, 5, in the end, D minor chord, okay? So, 6th fret on 2nd string, 2nd, 7th fret on 3rd and 4th strings, okay? So, that is all that you have for this lesson in lead guitar part. And now we're going to check out how to play the chords. Okay, so in the very end, once again. Now let's check out how to play the chords. Before we start, I want to show you the strum pattern that we're using for pretty much the whole song. It's this down, down, up, down, up. Okay, once again. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. Okay? Very simple, very straightforward. Down, down, up, down, up. Now let's look at the chords. D minor first, second fret on third string, second fret on third string, third fret on second string, and first fret on the first string. Down, down, up, down, up. Come to B flat. So that's going to be first fret on second string on, on fifth string sorry and three 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 and three okay so down down up down up down down up down up down to C major down down up down up third fret on fifth string second fret on fourth string open and first fret down down up down up back to D minor down down up down up okay let's see in the tabs uh, that I have uh, the PDF that I've made, um, I've shown you the exact place, exact fret on the lead guitar where you change the chords. So that's down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, 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 down, Now for the next line, D minor, and instead of B flat, you're going to come to G minor chord. So you're having a complete bar across all the six strings on the third fret, and you have fifth fret on the fifth and fourth strings. Back to B flat, down, 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 down and D minor, down, 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 down. Okay, so da 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 da. Now you have B flat, down, 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 down. D minor, down, 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 down. Then on A you have this, down, 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 down. Because on the lead guitar part we're doing this. But on the rhythm guitar you're just gonna play A major, down, 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 down. Four times down strum. Okay? Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna repeat all the four lines once again. Okay? So the same chords, but there will be a change in the very end just like the same way that we had a change in the lead guitar as well. Okay, so let's see 
Let's play everything all over again. D minor, G minor, D flat, D minor again. Now we're here, B flat, D minor. And over there we were doing one, two, three, four, and A. Here you'll do down, down, up, down, up, and then D minor. Okay, so instead of one, two, three, four, you just have to continue playing the same strum pattern on A major, down, down, up, down, up, D minor, down. And then you come to B flat chord and here you'll do this okay so B flat chord down down up, down up and on A major you have down down up, down B flat down down up, down and A major four times down down Right, so let's play from the second line from the second time that we repeat all the chords. Let's take it from there. Da 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 after that, B flat down down up down up and A major down down up down B flat down down up down and A major down 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 down. All right. Please make sure that you look at the you you're gonna have to look at the demo again that I played in the very beginning of of the lesson, right? The whole performance to just uh, you know know exactly when the chords change and that it would be easier because I play the whole thing over there okay so that's also something that you, that's something that you can do now let's take a look at the next part where the lead changes to this right all of that so here what we're doing is D minor down 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 up okay down 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 up and on C major down down up strum you come back to D minor okay so down 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 up and on C down 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 up on D minor so once again all right once again repeat that down 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 up down 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 so here instead of down 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 up you do down 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 on C, C major and then simple down stream on D. Okay? So down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. Alright? Now let's go to the next part. Uh, the next part where the lead changes to this over here. Here the strum pattern is this. Okay, so it's down, up, down, up. Really simple, down, up, down, up on every chord. Down, up, down, up. Starts off with D minor. Da, da, da. Okay, down, up, down, up. C major, down, up, down, up. F major, down, up, down, up. Okay, I've not shown you how to play this chord yet. F major, I'm playing it this way. I Use top string first, spread with my thumb, and three and three, and then two, and then one and one. Okay? So down, up, down, up, C major, down, up, down, up, F major, down, up, down, up. Then you come to G minor, down, up, down, up. Okay? Da, da, da. Then you come to D minor again, down, up, down, up, A major. D minor again. And here you have two times down, up, down, up, and again down, up, down, up. Okay, so 
There's, there are a lot of different chord changes over here. It would be better if you can write these chord, cha chord changes somewhere. So once again, down, up, down, up, C, F, G minor, D minor, A, E minor two times. Now for the next line, this one. This line again start with D minor down up down up C major down up down up F major down up down up B flat down up down up okay da 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 okay then for the next part D minor again down up down up G minor down up down up come back to D minor down up down up two times Okay, so let's start once again. D minor, C, F, D flat, D minor back to D minor, G minor, and D minor two times. One, two. All the chords are just doing down, up, down. Okay, now we come to the very last part for the song. So yeah, I think you can tell what chords I'm playing just by looking at the chord shapes that I'm doing on the lead guitar part. So it starts off with D minor. We'll be playing all these chords over here, right? Keeping it simple. Over here, we're just going to play one down strum on each chord. Because it's repeated again, not this way, but like this. Right? So it's basically played two times. One, one time like this. The whole thing. And then... You know the whole thing okay so different uh, for the two times for the first time we're just doing one down strum on each chord and then the second time we use our regular strum pattern so d minor first okay and then b flat now on f major down 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 and on c major down down okay so down down f major down 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 on c major down down G minor chord, down strum, D minor chord, down strum, then A major chord, down, 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 then D minor, down. So once again, F, C, G minor, D minor, A major, three times, one, two, three, go back to D minor. And now, we can continue with our strum pattern. Da, 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 da. And that will be it. So let's see D minor down, up, down, up. Okay, down, up, down, up. B flat, and F major down, up, down, up. C major down, up, down, up. G minor. Exactly the same chords that we used before, D minor, then A major and D minor. And here what you can do is down, 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 down. Okay, so let's play both parts together for this. Over here we play down strums, D minor, B flat. said before okay so that is it that's how you play the chords for this uh, theme so you know if you want you can have another guitarist and one can play the lead either you can play the lead they can play the guitar or they can play the lead you can play the chords. You know how to play both parts now. And like I said before in this beginning of this video, if you want to check out how to play a fingerstyle guitar lesson, if you want to check out how to play a fingerstyle arrangement for this song, then again, you can find that in my channel. All right, so that is it for this lesson. Uh, once again, if you're looking for tabs for this song, you can check it out uh, on my Patreon page. I want to thank everyone who is supporting me over there. I really appreciate your support. 
and i'll see you guys again with the next lesson in the next video till then take care and goodbye